I think I heard that you think you know JavaScript? Well, I don't think so. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you're an idiot, although you might be. All I'm saying is that you're not perfect, and nobody is. That's why today I'm bringing you 5 advanced vanilla JavaScript concepts that will make you reconsider your life choices. In basic terms, you will wish you chose to be a Twitch fanboy instead of being a programmer. Firstly, we have JavaScript closures. Now JavaScript closures are like having a magical backpack that stores memories. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine each function in JavaScript as a wizard casting a spell. In this example, create spell is a wizard that creates and returns another wizard, which is a closure. The inner wizard remembers the spell name, even after the outer wizard has finished casting its spell. So when we call spell, it remembers the magic words and casts the spell. That's closures. And by the way, this is not a deep tutorial. If you want one, comment down below with the topics you want me to teach you or watch a tutorial on YouTube. Bit. Now the second concept is JavaScript inheritance. It's like passing down the family one from one generation to the next. Think of the function wizard as the grand wizard, and every instance, like the function Marilyn, as a magical apprentice inheriting powers. Now the prototype is like the family spellbook. Any apprentice can consult it for spells. So when Marilyn.cast spell is called, it looks up to the family spellbook and casts the spell with the wizard's name. Now let's talk about JavaScript event loops. Picture this: your code is a magical performance with different acts. The event loop is the director ensuring each act or task gets its time in the spotlight. It constantly checks the queue for new acts to perform. In this enchanting JavaScript performance, the magical show function represents your magical code. The event loop function acts as the director ensuring each act or task is executed in a timely manner. The setTimeout function simulates the passage of time between different acts, and thanks to the event loop, your magical show runs smoothly one act at a f***ing time. Now is the time to talk about callbacks. Callbacks are like sending magical messages to your friends. Hey, when you're done with that spell, let me know. Here in this example, cast spell is a wizard initiating a spell and leaving a callback message. The callback spell completed is another wizard ready to be summoned when the first spell is complete. Now the callbacks are like the magical messengers, ensuring your code doesn't sit around waiting. It multitasks like a true wizard. Wait, so wizards are real? And now for the famous concept, promises. Think of a promise as a magical contract. Do magic is a wizard promising to complete the magic after a certain time. The perform spell wizard awaits the magic to be complete, allowing other spells to be cast in the meantime. It's like peeking into the magical future, ensuring smooth and timely spell casting. Now I don't really give a f if you understand it or not because I've made a video explaining promises in details. But let me ask you a question, have you got four dollars? Well that's cool because my private mentorship program starts at four dollars a month and you will have a private notion database that I update regularly with tasks, projects and schedules just for you. We will have meetings things and you will be able to talk to me anytime you want. Check it out down below. But if you have questions or hesitant, you'll find a link in the description to my Discord server and I'll be there to help you out. See you in the next one.